In this video, let us solve some problems based on trapezium. The question goes like this. Diagonals AC and BD of a trapezium ABCD with AB being parallel to DC intersect each other at O. Prove that area of the triangle AOD and the area of triangle BOC are equal. Now, let's see how do we go about solving this problem. Now, clearly, triangles ACD and triangles BCD, they lie on the same base CD and also between the same parallel lines AB and DC. So, therefore, area of triangle ACD equals area of triangle BCD. So now, now we need to prove that triangle AOD is equal to triangle BOC. But then we have considered the triangle ACD and BCD. So we need to subtract this triangle from it. That is this one, this part, the hatched portion that is triangle COD. So, so let's go about subtracting triangle COD from the both the triangles. So it so becomes area of triangle ACD minus area of triangle COD equals area of triangle BCD minus area of triangle COD. So the reason is nothing but they are part of the two triangles that we've taken. It's a common part. So now subtracting this from ACD, if you take out COD, all you're left is triangle AOD. Area of triangle AOD equals area of Triangle. If you take out triangle COD from BCD, we have only BOC left. So therefore, area of triangle AOD is proved to be equal to area of triangle BOC. So hence proved and this completes the problem. Let us do another one. Now in this problem, ABCD is a trapezium with AB parallel to DC and a line parallel to AC. Now we've got a line AC which is shown in dotted line. So a line parallel to AC intersects AB at X and AC at Y. So this is a line that is parallel to AC. Now what do we have to prove is we need to prove that the area of triangle ADX, ADX, this triangle. So yeah, ADX and area of triangle ACY, ACY. So it will be, we need to join this. So we need to prove that the triangle of the area of triangle ADX and the area of triangle ACY are equal. So let us see how to go about that. We first have to join CX. So let us join CX. And we need to join DX. So that is joined. And then we need to join AY which we did already. Now clearly triangles ADX and ACX are on the same base AX and between the same parallels a b and d c therefore area of triangle a d x equals to area of triangle a c x so now also the triangle a c x and triangle a c y are on the same base a c if you consider it from the other way the triangle a c x and a c y are on the same base a c and also between the same parallels AC and XY. So two triangles are between this line and this line that is AC and XY and also they lie on the same base AC that is AC X and ACY. So now therefore we also have area of triangle ACX equals to area of triangle ACY. So now considering these two say this is first equation or this is second equation considering the equation one and two we get area of triangle ADX equal to area of triangle ACY which is exactly what we wanted. So this completes the problem. Let us go to another one. So here in this problem diagonals AC and BD of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect at O in such a way that the area of triangle AOD equals the area of triangle BOC. Now we need to prove that ABCD is a trapezium. So now draw DN perpendicular to AB. 
and CM perpendicular to AB, which is already drawn. Now we have area of triangle AOD equals area of triangle BOC, which is given already in the question. And now what do we have to do is we need to prove that ABCD is a trapezium, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to add the area of triangle AOB to both sides. So which gives us area of triangle BOC plus area of triangle AOB. So now area of triangle AOB plus area of triangle AOD is nothing but it is the area of triangle ABD. So let's replace the entire thing by area of triangle ABD and this is equal to area of triangle ABC. So now area of triangle ABD is nothing but half into base that is AB into height which is DN. That's why we drew this lines perpendicular to these just to get the height and then here we have again half into base that is AB into the height CM. So here we have half and AB, half and AB getting cancelled. So we have DN equal to CM. But DN is parallel to CM as both are perpendiculars to AB. So therefore DCMN is basically a parallelogram. And consequently now as a result of it we also have DC parallel to AB. Therefore ABCD is a trapezium. This is quite an important point from here. So let me make a mention of that point here. Or as a result of DCMN being a parallelogram, DC is also parallel to AB and hence ABCD is a trapezium.